The grid order concept is popular among traders all over the world. In this video, you're going to learn how the grid order concept works and how you can add this tool to your arsenal to double profit and to reduce losses. It is the art of placing single or multiple trades above or below an already placed order to either double profit or mitigate losses. This concept gives traders high chance of ending up with profit, however, it also trades high risks for high probability statistics. Traders usually worry about the risks involved in using the grid strategy more than poor market entry. The grid strategy is usually and always effective with a good knowledge of market structure. When you enter the trade in a carefree way, your capital may be at risk no matter the strategy you use. The grid concept is also effective with market structure concept. If you are knowledgeable about market structure, liquidity suits, demand and supply zone, then the grid concept is a good tool to have. So let's see how it works. First of all, before we go in depth, there are two types of grid order concepts, or grid orders rather. The grid order with uniform trade limits, the grid order with distinct trade limits. All right, on this, in this illustration right now, in this illustration right now, you will see buy orders with uniform trade limits, stop loss and take profit. All right, same goes with sell orders. So this is the grid order with uniform trade limits. So they have the same stop loss and take profit. That means that when um, the price, the market price gets to that point, every order closes instantly. If it hits your stop loss, it closes at a loss. And if it hits your take profit, it closes all orders at that same point, right? Then the next illustration now is showing us um, three different orders and now these orders have different distinct take profit and stop loss that means when the market price hits a particular take profit or, or, or loss it, it only takes out the first order or the other the equation right leaving the remaining two so this is there's two different you know types of grid order you know placement All right so let's get to the next, the, 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 the next one is talking about the forms. So the forms, there are different forms. Grid orders comes in different forms. All right. So the first one you see here is a sell, a sell, a buy, and, you know, and a buy. All right. Then you, you can see the next one, the buy, buy, the sell, and the sell. Or you can see buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. Right. So it, it is now more like, um you know, a double, you know, sell and then the double buy it could actually be a single buy sell or buy buy and all of those things so you just need to understand that this is um you know the different form it comes with and it it actually depends it actually depends on your trading style how you're going to use it or however it comes in different forms even more than the one illustrated in this video so it's just for you to know the basics and then you can you can play around it and see the best strategy that works for you. Remember, I said that this strategy is specifically either for doubling profit and mitigating losses, right? And also, it is effective when you have a very good entry and market. The knowledge of market structure is really important, all right? So you can double your profit with the grid, triple your profit with the grid. A lot of traders use this strategy, and um, you can actually mitigate losses especially um, when there is a change of character in the market structure. So before the market changes character, you there, there will be signs, all right? And these signs will definitely, you will see, okay, assuming that the market is bullish and it wants to change character to a bearish, you know, in a trend, you will definitely see a moment of rage, raging, all right? A moment of support and resistance. And then that is it. So you in that support and resistance you've notified of you've seen that okay the market is not actually flowing the way it ought to flow so all you need to do is to use the grid concept to mitigate your losses and um, leave the market already so before you use the grid concept you need to understand how to calculate the take profit the risks involved and the reward involved all right so the first thing here 
is the tick value. So you need to understand what a tick value is. The price is moving tick, all right? And um, the tick value of a commodity is the is the value of that commodity per tick, all right? The ticks and these ticks have values uh, per commodity, all right? So you need to know the tick value for each commodity. For gold, the tick value is 0 0.1, and for Euro US is 0 0.1. For US the JPY, you're having 0 0.075, and then for um, the um, the AUD card, the AUD card, you're seeing 0 0.073. So now, uh, multiplying by 10 pips, all right, we'll be having one dollar for the gold, for the Euro USD, for the pound USD, and um, you know USD JPY, you'll be having 0 0.75 cents and all of that. So this is how you first of all know that for every 10 pips you are making one dollar or you are losing one dollar so this is how you will do this all right so now the next thing we need to do is to okay uh, you know state this illustration right now so in this illustration now you are seeing two orders two buy orders buy order one and buy order two and the difference or the spacing between the buy order is called the grid spacing and this spacing in this illustration is 10 pips, all right? And then the spacing between buy order two and the stop loss is actually 10 pips. With the loss size of 0 0.01, which is the smallest loss size, you will have to understand that um, when uh, the, the market moves 10 pips in favor of this buy order, you are having $1. So in the case, you're having $2. So looking at this, the buy order one has, if you're going to calculate the loss now, it will be 10 plus 10 for buy order. So in that, that's in the, uh, for buy order one, you are losing 20 pips, all right? Which is $2. And then for buy order two, the spacing here is 10. So you are losing $1, right? So now, so at the end of the day, in this uh, trading, you're gonna lose $3. So for your for your um take profit, the the spacing from by order one to the take profit is twenty pips, all right. So now, if this is the case, the buy order will give you twenty pips, so you are gaining two dollar, and then the buy order two from the take profit is thirty pips. You can actually increase it if you want to, but this is how to calculate the stop loss and the take profit, right? So you need to know the distance between the take profit and the first order, the take profit and the buy order, and then do the same for the stop loss. Here is how you calculate the take profit, the reward and the loss or the reach rather of any grid strategy you want to use. All right, so we need to be simplistic and use the go for the basics now for everyone to understand. So combining this uh, uh, strategy with a good entry, the knowledge of market structure, then you're very much good to go. So let's get into a market and show you how to actually use this with market structure, all right? So let's see what happens. In the Euro US, the market right now, and in this chart, you, you are seeing an order flow, a bearish order flow, right? And we are on the 15 minutes time frame, of course. And um, how this thing works right now is to understand where the you know the market liquidity is actually flowing to right so now looking at this at point a you are seeing that um we had a very low demand and at the swing high it pushed this price down to b all right then moving down to c it returned back then to d you are seeing a very very strong liquidity sweep here all right you have seen a very very strong liquidity sweep at this point okay so um then it moved down to e all right so the the bulls begin to get momentum so at this point at point e giving us a, a strong you know support sorry we are seeing a very strong um, demand right now okay supporting this market to go bullish in this short term all right so this demand zone pushes it back 
you are seeing a very strong liquidity sweep here then bearish liquidity sweep here it came uh, you know consequentially or sequentially rather and then move down to f and then same thing happens down to this to this lower g all right and then it moved down to h and now you are seeing this pattern send to h i and e so so what we have to do now is to draw the trend lines covering this all right making it the line of best fit right now okay and um that's that then we have to also draw that on the swing highs right so looking at this chart now we are predicting or we are assuming that this market price will rise to l so now at l what will happen we we know for sure that it will actually repeat what actually happened in this market so but by the way coming into the market at point b c d e so these ones are actually point a b c d e are actually um you know what will i call it now it shows us the direction of the market and the call the prevalent uh you know order flow so what will happen now is at point d if you place a trade definitely you make profit at point e f g h i j you see now that this market structure gives you consistent profit all right using a very good risk management system you're actually going to make profit right now we want to know using this uh, um, um having this knowledge rather we want to use the grid order concept to actually double profit because right now what you have to understand in the market is that sometimes the the the, the prevalent movement of the market may be exhausted right may be exhausted but all the same um uh, if you would all right so let's see what happens so we are presuming or we are believing that this will get to l and we want to use a grid or uh you know in a grid uh, you know other concept now we're placing you know a we're placing a cell limit here all right so as you know, we place a cell limit here and um we believe that when it gets to this point we are taking profit and looking at our profit we are having um we are having a two is two is that a two is to one all right so we are believing that this is actually bearish so we're making it two is to one all right so that is that now so when it gets to this point but looking at this you are also seeing when it gets to this point so but looking at this you're also seeing that um you also seeing that this particular you know it almost broke the structure here you know looking at h now in comparison to h but yet it's you it had to there was a resistance back down to um k so we want to place a second you know a second by a cell limit here right want to place a second cell limit here we want to place a second cell limit at this point so looking at this now we are saying that if it gets to this point we're actually opening a new trade and then we have a uniform tick um, stop loss right here and then we also have a uniform tick profit right so we're using a uniform tick profit okay and then when this um, um, price get to this place if it hits this you know pending order and moves down and takes profit fine but if it gets to hit this all right we now double profit right we double or triple profit as the case may be remember how we did the calculation for the take profit the reward and also the risks involved in this grid concept all right so this is for doubling profit but sometimes it could be that you are watching the market and it's changing character all right so you can actually use this technique let me show you what really happened in this trade all right talking about mitigating losses now you are seeing two you know the grid order placed here 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 okay and then look at the uniform stop loss all right so initially the trade was placed here at this point all right hoping for it to get to the um the moving average here so we can take profit but somehow 
um, we saw that the market began to shift, all right? So now it began to go down. So we now you need to open a new order here and then modify the, the take profit, right? So the, the take profit initially was somewhere here. All right, we now modified it down to the, you know, the um, the open of the initial order, almost above the open of the initial order, the open price, okay? And then, so as we have it, we are actually making profit. So right now, we are making profit. Looking at this, this is about, you know, 20, 30 pips, right? 30 pips here. This is 30 pips. So right now, we're just going to make, you know, profit in this trade, all right? So that is what it is. So we talked about the grid concept. We talked about the types of the grid concept. We talked about how to calculate the risk to reward ratio of the grid concept. We also talked about um, how to combine the market structure um, and then the grid concept, grid order concept, and how to use it to make profit, double profit and mitigate losses, all right? So this is what we have for you in this video. You can actually also uh, build um, a system, an automated system and automate this process. For those that are interested in this, please check the learning material, check the link below for you to get the learning material to learn how to build these algorithms automated in an automated way. If you learned anything in this video, please like and subscribe. All right, I would love to hear your opinions and your comments and your thoughts. All right, they'll be really, really helpful. In our next video, we'll be talking about market reversals and market liquidity and how to also use trailing stops to make profit using the SMC smart money concept. All right, so make sure you turn the notification button so that you can be the first to see this video. All right, so bye for now.